This little baby girl was born just a little over an hour ago. Um, I do think that a very good person to give the score in the delivery room is the circulating nurse. Now, Mrs. Angle, I know you are a student nurse and you haven't met the scoring system before, so let's just run over the five points of it. How do you think you go about telling pulse rate in one minute after birth? Well, one minute after birth, the cord, of course, would be longer and pulsating, and I could hold on to the cord itself. Also, another way would be to place my finger in the epigastrum and press so that I could feel the aorta and pulsation there. If I still wasn't satisfied, though, I could go ahead and put on a stethoscope like we're learning in school, and I could put it over the apex of the horn. Yes, this is mighty rapid. Can you tell by my finger how much? Well, I'm, I'm sure it's over 100. This would, baby would get a score of 2 for that if it were true at 1 minute. What would it be if it were a score of 0? Oh, there would be an absence of uh, pulsation or very weak to the point where I'd need to check with a stethoscope and there. You wouldn't even hear it. I wouldn't hear it, I mean, I wouldn't hear would it at zero. all. That's right. Score 1 would be a slow heart rate, irregular slow heart rate at 1 minute after birth. The second important sign is respiration. How would you go about, Mrs. Angle, judging this respiration one minute after birth? Well, I was observing you right after birth. The one minute, she was screaming vigorously. But now when you're teaching me this, it's an hour later. So if at that time she was the one minute after birth, if she had been breathing like she is now with no crying, well, I would have put my fingers on the diaphragm in the upper part of the chest gently so that I could see the movement of her breathing and also feel the respiratory breathing at this time. What would a score of zero look like, Mrs. Angel? In zero, I would think that there would be an absence of breathing and as far as observing for it, there would be no, um, no up and down movement of the chest and to touch it, I would not be able to feel anything, but this would have to be real fast because she's going to need help at this point. That's right. One should be resuscitating her already. That's right. right. But this baby, of course, was fine. Yes, we're just talking about theoretical babies. Right. Another important sign is muscle tone. How do you think, Mrs. Angle, we'd judge muscle tone one minute after birth? Well, I would think that muscle tone, you'd have to judge that from observation alone. And if the baby's muscles, like at this baby, she has good muscle tone. You can see the way she flexes her legs and she flexes her arms and moves them about. And also her general body seems to be firm with muscle tone. Now, how about a score of zero? What would that look like? Now, I would think that, that would be flaccid, completely like a, like a limp dish rag. And at that time, then I might want to stimulate her in some way. Then a score of one would be sort of in between. This is the one that I wonder about. You can see, like, she's very active for the score of two. And for the zero score would be such an extreme. But well, what about the one score? Well, I think the score of one, we'll call it a rather limp, but moving sum. Score of zero doesn't move at all. It's just blocked. Another sign to test for is reflex irritability. What do you suggest is a way that we could stimulate reflexes? Well, from what we've learned and I've done before, which usually works, is to smack her hard on the bottom of the foot. She liked that, didn't she? But she seemed to like it instead of responding. Maybe I'll show you another way that might work. <coughs> that was a good two reaction for this baby. It certainly was. What would a zero reaction be for reflexes? Well, if this baby was a zero, I would think that she would have no response at all. That's right. And one would be what? Well, on a one, if a baby was one, I would uh, try to stimulate her. And no matter what I do, she would still just sort of give me a half make of her face. Half-hearted response. Right, half-hearted. She'd be grimace, as the term is applied. That's right. The fifth sign, and I think the one that is the least important, though, is color. How would you go about judging the color of the baby, Mrs. Angle, one minute after birth? Well, one minute after birth, there's so many different color changes throughout the body that the best place for us to tell would be in the hands, and like in the palms of the hands, and you see her muscle tone, as we said, was good. And also another place would be on the feet, but don't be shocked, this is not cyanosis. This is the good color. This is the footprint that I put on oh, while you were gone. <laughs> yeah. And the lips are a good place, too, I think. Uh, this baby actually, one minute after birth, it's been an hour now since she was born, did have blue hands and feet, and there was one point taken off of her total score for that. Her total score was nine. 
uh, by now you can see she has cleared up that sign completely. Many babies have one point taken off and the average score, the most important score, is nine uh, in many different hospitals. Well, what would be the uh, in-between color, like she's pink or for a two? Well, for two, she'd be pink all over, hands, feet, head, trunk, everything. One would be blue hands and feet, the rest of her pink, and a score of zero would be just pale blue the and all over. The body. Right. I think this demonstration shows how easy it is to teach these five points in the scoring system. This young lady who's a student nurse had never heard of the system until this morning, and I think now she has a very good grasp of it.